Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery on September 12th, 2016 in Hartford, Connecticut at Hartford Hospital with Dr. Darren Tischler. My highest weight was 333 pounds. Uh, my surgery weight was 300.5 and today I am 283.2. Yeah, 283.2. So I lost 1.2 pounds uh, within the last couple days. Um, so on my last video, I had explained that um, it's definitely a number game for me. I just, um, it's, it's nice to see the baggy clothes and clothes I can no longer wear. Um, but it definitely is a number game. I really want to see that scale come down and it is coming down very slow. Um, I had a, a loss of 17 pounds, 17.1 I believe, um, thus far and I'm almost eight weeks post-op. Um, I thought for sure it would be more like 25 pounds um, especially, you know, a good 20 pounds that first month. Um, so that's a little, um, depressing. Um, also today I want to talk a little bit about emotions. Um, that's one thing I totally prepared for this surgery. I watched so many YouTube videos. I think I saw 350 different, uh, YouTube videos. I have followed people on their journeys from start to finish. Um, some people who just began the journey, some people who um, was uh, thinking about it. I, I watched a lot. I educated myself a lot, and I think that this is the one thing that people don't warn you about um, are the emotions. I am up and down. There are some days I am so excited, and it has nothing to do with the surgery itself. I'm not depressed about the surgery. I'm not so excited about the surgery that's just not that's that's not even an issue it's just life like today I woke up in the last couple of days I've been having these crazy crazy very vivid dreams um, I'm not sure if anybody else is having them but I am having these um, just crazy dreams and I remember everything about the dreams um, normally I don't dream um, if I do, I won't really remember what I dreamt about. But the last couple of days, I am having some really funky, crazy dreams. Um, but anyway, so today I woke up and I'm just um, irritable. I'm depressed. I feel sad. Not really too many particular reasons. Um, you know, there's the election going on, which is, you know, crazy in and in itself. Um, there is the busyness of life. I have four children um, in the house that are eight, seven, five, and two. Uh, three girls, one boy. And then I have two older children who are out of the house, ages 22. And then my son is 26. Um, so I have a total of six kids. So I love being busy. Don't get me wrong. I love being a mom and bringing them to school. We get to pray on the way to school. We get to sing. We get to talk. I get to pick them up after school. If there's any issues, I'm home. I can take a run down to the school. Um, just so many different things going on. So it's not just one particular thing. It just seems like it's everything. It just seems like it's... Um, some days I... Nothing bothers me, and other days I'm like a raging lunatic. So today my poor husband has no idea what to do with me. Um, it seems like I'm mad at him, but I'm really just thinking and deep in thought and, and you know, not really sure about different things. But but the, the emotions are a roller coaster. I feel like I'm going up and down and up and down. And then I had my cycle um, like, I don't know two and a half weeks ago and I have it for like 10 days and then I had it again a few days ago for another five days and it's just been really crazy. Um, I'm going to go on uh, the 17th to see my gynecologist to see if I can figure out um, what to do to stop the cycles. Um, I know it's probably from um, losing a lot of fat um, from my body and I know that that um, 
releases a lot of extra estrogen. Um, so it's just crazy. I, I feel I feel a little crazy. Um, so I don't know if anybody out there is going through things like this, um, but I am definitely going through it. So um, yeah, let me know how you cope if you take like extra B12 or an extra vitamin of some sort. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm also having a hard time with coffee. Now, I I really like coffee a lot. Um, I have a Keurig. I have a brand new Keurig that um, the company sent me for free because my older model was just going crazy. And so um, they sent me this gorgeous brand new Keurig and I just love my coffee. I love buying the different K-cups. But I'm having an issue with I don't want to have sugar in my coffee and I don't want to add the sweeteners from Dunkin Donuts like caramel swirl. Um, so I've been using those Tarani um, syrups. Um, salted caramel is my favorite um, and they do okay. You just have to be careful not to put too much so it doesn't taste chemically. Um, and But I'm having a hard time what putting it in for cream. Now I always drink International Delight French vanilla creamer. Always. As far back as I can remember. I know it's not the healthiest, um, but um, it, it worked for me because of the sweetness. Um, so I stopped drinking that pre-surgery um, a while ago, and then I switched to half and half. Um, and that's okay, but I'm missing the sweetness. Um, I haven't tried stevia. I know some people um, like stevia. Um, I'm trying really to find something that's equivalent to the International Delights French Vanilla Creamer. Um, so I don't know if you guys have any ideas, if you guys make your own, if there's some sugar I can use. And I'm really just trying not to go back into old habits, although I do need a cup of coffee in the morning. Um, it just helps me feel better. Um, so yeah, so that, that's kind of the gist of it. I tried another Walden Farms caramel syrup stuff and it has a really bad aftertaste. Um, so anyway, so I, I don't really care for that. So if you guys have any ideas, I thought also of putting maybe honey in my coffee. Maybe I should just go to tea. Maybe I should just be a tea drinker. And with tea, I don't use any cream or anything. I just have the tea and I have um, a little bit of uh, honey, uh, raw honey. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. I'm just thinking, I live in Massachusetts. It gets very cold. It's about 40, 45 degrees right now. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous um, uh, fall day here. Um, but I'm just thinking I'm going to need something warm. I don't want to go to hot cocoa because um, I don't really know how to make a healthy hot cocoa. So... Anyways, that's my little dilemma. If you have any any um, information or something you can pass on to me, that would be fantastic. Um, I know I'm going to be going to Trader Joe's again. I need to pick up some, um, some more of those meatballs that I get from there and some more of those. Um, they are turkey sticks, so they're kind of like, uh, they look like Slim Jims, but they're big. Um, they're by a company named Chomps, uh, C-H-O-M-P-S. I think I've mentioned them before. Um, I like those as a snack. Um, they're 100 calories and um, there's 10 grams of protein just for one stick and they're pretty good. Um, I enjoy them. They're not too hard. Um, they go down well. They, um, they digest fine. Um, so yeah, so those, and um, and they have a couple of different kind of meatballs um, that I wanted to get there. And then, of course, they have my lavender soap and my lavender body scrub um, at Trader Joe's, and I love that. So um, yeah, that's that about the food. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to talk about. Um, I know I need a haircut. Um, I've so far been very fortunate. I know I'm still only seven and a half weeks uh, post-op, but I have had no issues with my hair falling out. I have extremely thin hair to begin with. Um, I've never dyed my hair. I um, There was only one time I had put ex in, uh, extensions in my hair. My 
mother-in-law is from New York City. She owns a salon. Um, and I put them in, she put them in my hair for my wedding, um, which this month is 10 years ago. 10 years for me and my hubby. Um, so yeah, so, so far I take 5,000 uh, micrograms or whatever it is of biotin in a day. And I've never dipped below 80 grams of protein a day. And that was in the beginning, I would get about 80 to 90 per day. And now I always get 96 to 120 um, every day of protein. And that's not including if I have a chocolate premier protein, um, which funny thing is pre-surgery, I could drink the chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, and caramel flavors. Post-surgery, I can only drink chocolate. The other ones are way too sweet. I don't like them. I was using the vanilla in my coffee as a creamer, and that went okay, except it wasn't sweet enough. Um, so I just stopped doing it. It didn't taste good to me. Um, so, but yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of my update um, on the whole emotional thing. Um, the other thing, too, is I think... Um, I don't know if this has anything to do with it. Tell me if you guys have any um, issues with this, but I started eating um, once per day a um, Oh Yeah Nutrition protein bar, and I love them. They are just amazing. Um, it's my treat once a day. I have it as a snack. Um, but you know, there are there's 20, 21 grams of protein, but I think there's 24 grams of carbs. Um, so, I don't know, maybe that has something to do with a slow, um, l losing, uh, slowly. Um, so I don't know, I'm not quite sure, but, um, yeah, that's just kind of a thought that went there. Um, I didn't have one yesterday, so I'm trying to maybe not have one every day, although it really is such a treat. Um, the birthday cake flavor is amazing. Um, the chocolate birthday cake, not so much, um... And um, I love the raspberry cheesecake flavor. It's the only bar really that um, I have found that does not have um, an aftertaste and doesn't taste gritty. It tastes wonderful. It tastes like I'm eating like a normal treat. Um, and this coming Monday, the, the place I buy it from, uh, a company called Absolute Nutrition on Memorial Drive here in Chicopee, Mass., um, they sell them by the case and you can mix and match. It's only 24 bucks for 12 bars. So it's two bucks a bar if you buy the case, 250 to 295 each if you don't buy the case. Um, but on Monday, they're actually having a representative from there, from Oh Yeah Nutrition and a couple other um, bars and local things. Um, they're having like battle of the protein bars and then they're having some peanut butter spreads and things like that. So I'm going to go... I think it's like three to seven and they're giving out samples of every bar they have and you get little trinkets and maybe pens with their logo on it or something. I don't know, but I'm looking forward to that. That will be great. Um, so that's about it for now. I actually hear my two-year-old daughter on the monitor. She took a nap only an hour and a half ago. So apparently that is enough sleep for her. So I'm going to go up and get her for now and uh, please leave me a comment below just letting me know if you're going through some of the same things as I am if um, you know if you have any questions or you can give me some advice um, or just let me know that you're here and that you watch um, that would be great so that's it for now I hope that everybody has a great weekend happy voting if you're in the US bye